So hi everyone, this is Jiggy, a portrait and wedding photographer from the Philippines and welcome to the channel. So right now, I'm taking you behind the scenes during an engagement shoot. Well, it's not actually an engagement shoot. It's a shoot for one of the best makeup artists in the Philippines. Her name is Gold Magtoto and they're celebrating their 25th wedding anniversary in a few days. And we decided since we've worked so much together, she's done Coco's face so well so many times, it's about time for us to return the favor and we are shooting them today. So what I'm gonna do, or what I want, what I plan to do is come, let me show you. You see how the sun is coming from here? It's creating a beautiful rim light on them. And it's got a nice golden glow already, especially when I decide to put my white balance on cloudy so it makes, makes it a bit warmer. Plus, we're gonna shoot it with a 51.2. I'm just gonna blur out the background, yet we're gonna get a lot of depth because of these trees. So my exposure will be set on the existing ambient light for the highlights. Then, of course, just in time. Perfect. Mark, hold on, hold on. Then I will have a light now. This one, come. This is the Photix Indra 500. It's a 500 watt studio strobe that's battery operated. It's modified using the MagMod MagBox. And the secret to this one is, Mark, let me show you, is that, look, there's a gel filter inside that makes the color orange. Okay, now here's the key. I want to shoot this wide open, but I want to stay within my flash sync speed so I can maximize the power of this flash. And that's why I have this HNY Vary ND filter here, just so that I can set it at 1.2. Let me show you. Look at this one. It's at 1.2, 1 over 250, which is my flash sync speed. You could see the color temperature already is very warm. Okay, so with that, Let's start shooting. Oh, by the way, the camera that I'm using is my Sony A7R Mark IV. All right, guys, let's go. So the power of my flash right now is just one over 32. And I am about almost four stops with the ND filter, with a very ND filter. All right, Gold, it's going closer. Nice, very nice. I, can you put your hand on his shoulder? There we go, perfect. Or maybe over his neck. Nice, I love that. Oh, beautiful. Beautiful. Gold, gold, gold. Wag sa back niya kailan sa arm. Okay. Kundi hindi makikita yung. Ah okay, sige, sige. Yan ganon lang. Don't break your elbow. There we go. You want me to break it? Ah uh, no. <laughs> 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 nice. Good, I love it. No, okay. Let me know when you're ready. All right, I'm ready. ready? Kayo. Okay. One, two, three, go. Go uphill, you can do it. <laughs> Work out. This was the output of that location, and honestly, it was truly amazing. It's beautiful. I could have just sat there the whole day. But we had another area in mind, so we're headed there now. And this time, we're gonna get that view, if you could see it right there. The view of Metro Manila. It's gonna be a beautiful sunset, hopefully. But if not, if we're not able to get a beautiful sunset, at the very least, we're gonna get some good, nice couple portraits in their car. Okay. So this is our second location, and look at that. So what we're gonna do is we'll have the car Somewhere, maybe hmm. here. Looks better here, right? What do you think? Right? Come on, let's have the car somewhere here. Facing. I thought it was facing. There. Gold angle is this side, so we want the light coming from here. So wait. The so gold, this is your angle, correct? Yes. No, your angle is your yes. left side, so you'll be facing here. Okay. Car front here. Okay. okay, so we are just determining how we're going to position the car and we're actually basing it on the angle of gold. Gold likes this side better. So if I had the car here and then she would be facing Ton, she would be against the light, right? But if we had, let's say, the car facing here, say here, there. If we had the car facing here, then the moment gold faces Ton, she's at her proper angle. So that's why we'll have the car facing here. It's hilarious actually that we realized we had an extra camera. We've been using the ZV-1 
for BTS, but of course it was easier for Coco to use the ZV-1. By the way, thank you very much, babe, for doing this. Coco is the one really behind this, the camera right now. No worries, babe. So, yeah. So now we set up the car here because the sunset photo will be somewhere there later. However, I want the car here to be in shade also because I wanted this. I wanted this tree here, right here. And I want to, I want to put them somewhat up here. And they're just playing around. Gold will be posted this way, right? So from here, I'll have my light. Since the light is coming from here, I'll have another light now. Come, Mark, I'll show the light. The light that we're going to be using is this brand new um, Octobank from Magmod. This is a 42-inch Magbox. Beautiful light. And it's going to come from somewhere here because the sun is coming from here. And all I want to do is really just give them light, give them beautiful soft light. Now, it's a question on whether or not I'm going to make this warmer. Maybe not because at at least the light temperature right now is still 5600 Kelvin. So this light is about 5600 Kelvin. So the flash sync speed of this trigger, the Photix Odin light, is 1 over 160. So I decided to put my, app, my camera settings to shutter speed priority, which is now 1 over 160, and let the aperture set itself. But it really depends. Maybe I will actually control my aperture using this one, the ND filter, the very ND. I could bring it to about two stops and maybe get about 5.6 to 8 there and get everything sharp. However, since I'm using a 24 to 70 lens, it's not really going to bokeh too much because bokeh is also dependent on focal length. So I might shoot them with a 35 or a 50. So it really depends. So again, my exposure will be dependent on this one, my very ND or my aperture. But basically, the moment I set my aperture and my, I can actually set my aperture using the very ND. Okay, so the light again that we're going to be using is this 42 inch light and it's becoming coming from this general direction. The reason why it's coming from here is because the existing ambient light is coming from here to make it look as natural as possible. Then we'll have Ton sitting down here with gold in front of them looking towards there just having fun and enjoying and we'll get beautiful soft light coming from this and this one as our view and this fantastic car as part of the scene also. Okay, let's see how this one will turn out. Hold, hold, hold. Huh? Don't move that pose. Don't move that expression. So final layout, sunset photo. <laughs> so this is the area that we pinpointed to shoot in. So this time I have my Magmod again, the Octobank with the focus diffuser. And I already took the HNY very ND filter out. Whoa. So that uh, I'm actually gonna be just shooting maybe at F8, yeah, depending on the me, strength of the light. But technically I'm gonna be exposing it or underexposing it by about two stops. So I'm at 1 over 160 and the aperture is dependent on what the light gives us. But honestly, I'm going to wait for the sun to set behind the skyline. Because right now, it's, uh, it's just going to be too dark, too contrasty. So it's when the sun really goes down below the horizon line. That's when I would normally start shooting. All right. Okay. Oh, that's perfect. Uh, Ton, can you move the car back here? While waiting for the sunset, we're fixing the post. So we already have one post in. Then afterwards, we'll probably bring them here. So let's practice your post right there. Maybe over there, Don. And with gold also. Can you walk going there, gold? Okay, there. And this time, with this one, I don't think I'm going to shoot you guys with the light. What you're just going to do is look towards the sunset. Facing out. Facing out. Facing out. Closer to each other. Facing out. Facing out. Literally facing out, not each other. Um, your body's facing out too. There. Ah, and then, sorry. there, that's it. Just relax and then you could lean, you could lean towards the, uh, yes, yeah, that's it, that's it. One step. No, go back, go back to your step. Okay, one, two. Nice, I love it. One more, one, two, three. Beautiful. Wow. Wow. 
So we just finished the sunset session. We had to run to the car because there were so many mosquitoes. But basically this is how it turned out. Pretty cool. We had a beautiful sunset right there. Of course we took some silhouette shots. And there we go. Beautiful. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video and if you did, please do like the video, subscribe to the channel and click that notification bell. Now if you want to see more of my images, you can always find me on Instagram. It's at Jiggy Alejandrino. Okay, till the next video. Thanks again, babe, for taking the videos. No worries, babe. All right. Okay, let's go.